there, my name is Julie Faye Fan Balzer, and today I'm going to show you how to take a line drawing and scan it into your scan and cut to turn it into a cutting file. So oftentimes you have a line drawing like this. It might be a coloring book image, something you downloaded from the internet, and you want to go ahead and scan that into your machine so you can cut it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load it into my scanning mat, and I'm going to go right over to the machine now, and I'm just going to go ahead and load that mat. And then from the home screen, I'm going to choose Scan, Scan to Cut Data, and I'm going to go ahead and press Start. So once the screen comes up, I'm going to go ahead and choose the inline and outline option. I'm going to go ahead and drag in my red arrows to make sure it's a nice tight scan. And then I'm going to go ahead and save it right into my machine. And when that icon comes up, there it is. I can just go ahead and save it into the machine. It's going to tell me exactly what it's saving it as. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go to the home screen now, and I'm going to unload my scanning mat. Now from the home screen, I'm going to choose Pattern, Save Data. From the machine, I know it's the last thing that I put in there. Here it is, okay? But this file has a problem. So I'm going to go into the editing function so I can zoom in and then I can show you what this problem is. So I'm going to zoom in 400% so we're really in tight. Now, if you look at this, I think you'll see exactly what the problem is. There is a double line. That means because of what the scanning cut has done is it has put a cutting line both inside and outside every part of that line drawing. So if you've ever just gone ahead and not realized that that happened, that's where you get a kind of weird cut. So one option that some people have tried is you can see that the red box moves and it highlights different portions of it, is you can try deleting by hand each of the extra lines and stuff. But with a complicated cut, that starts to get crazy and take a long, long time. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see how I deleted those cuts right there. Can you see now that that is just a single circle instead of a double? So it takes some time and it's kind of a pain. So there is another solution. So let's go ahead and go back to the home screen and I will show you what that solution is. And now here's the trick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a black magic marker and I'm going to color in the area that actually represents what I want to cut out. So I have one here that is already done. And you can see now, right, when it's colored in, that's what my cut is going to look like. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and I'm going to load it right into my scanning mat. And then I'm going to go ahead over the machine. I'm going to load it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit scan, and I'm going to do the same thing, scan to cut data and press the start button. So once it's scanned in, I'm going to choose that second option, inside and outside, and go ahead and drag in my red arrows to make sure it's a nice tight scan on there. Hit the save button. I'm going to, once again, save it right into the machine, and it's going to tell me what it's saving it as. I'm going to say, OK, thank you very much. I'm going to go to the home screen, hit OK. So I'm going to go ahead and unload that scanning mat. And then I just have a plain piece of cardstock here. You could, of course, cut this out of paper, fabric, wood veneer, anything you want. I'm taking the dust cover off of my sticky mat. I'm using a standard mat. I'm going to go ahead and put my cardstock down, smooth it down so I make sure that it's completely stuck down. Then I'm going to go ahead and load it into the machine. And now I'm going to choose Pattern, Save Data, into the machine. I know it's the last thing that I did. It's right there, okay? And now if I show you the zoom in, if I go right into the editing functions and we zoom in 400%, you will see I have a beautiful file just made up of a single line. So it looks great to me. I'm going to hit OK. I'm very happy with it. I'm going to say OK. Let's cut that one out and press the Start button and we are off and running.
So once it's finished cutting, I'm gonna go ahead and unload the mat, close up the dust cover, pull off the excess paper, and now I'm gonna slowly and carefully get my cut right off that sticky mat, and boom, like magic, from my original line drawing, you can see that I now have this fabulous cut. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to visit my blog at bulgedesigns.typepad.com and don't forget about the Scan and Cut website at scanandcut.com.